Hi, I'm Helen with Floating Yoga School. This is a 60 minute vinyasa class focused on cultivating and creating joy and happiness. I know for me, especially the last few months have been really tough to focus on the positive and to find kind of that internal feeling of happiness. So I wanted to create this class with practices, breath practices and poses that open the chest, do some back bends, which are very uplifting shapes and help us focus on the little things to find contentment and to spread a little bit more joy. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Good? Pretty good. Any requests that you guys have? Things you want to work on or body parts that need attention? Hips? Sounds good. Cool. Um, I was thinking today we could work on a little bit of um, a joy practice, so cultivating some kind of uplifting thoughts and feelings, doing some chest openers and some breath of joy. So, um, yeah, if I can't really see your mouth, but I can see your eyes, so try to smile throughout your practice and enjoy. Find little moments of contentment wherever you can. We're going to start standing today, so you can find your way to the top of your mat. Feet together or hip distance, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. Yep, front corner, totally. You can have your eyes open, you can have your eyes softly closed. Feel free to take a little time to shift side to side, forward and back. Find that sweet spot between your feet and between your toes and your heels. And just start by scanning your physical body. Notice what's going on this morning how you're feeling. Notice any thoughts, where your mind is. If there's any kind of intention or dedication you'd like to set for your practice or for your day, this is a good time to do so. Maybe it's thinking about cultivating that feeling of joy a more passive quality is contentment, just being okay with whatever happens. Doesn't mean you don't notice the good or the bad. Maybe a little bit more active. Sharing the feeling of happiness with others, smiling and making eye contact with your fellow yogis or those you meet as you leave your practice. If you haven't yet, deepen your breath and turn on that loud ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. A slight constriction at the back of your throat as if you're fogging up a mirror, making a ha, a warming sensation with your lips sealed. Yeah, really nice. And if it's comfortable, a slight pause at the top of your inhale and the bottom of your exhale. You can keep your eyes closed or gently blink them open. Let your hands rest by your sides if they're not there. And then just start to twist a little side to side and let your arms swing freely, allowing a little bit of free movement. This can be big, this can be small. You can incorporate some shoulder rolls. If anything feels a little silly, just laugh at me and smile. That'll help cultivate that feeling of joy. Yeah, nice, Claire. And then back to center. Shrug your shoulders up, back and down. Big breath in, exhale to release. One more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, stand a little bit taller. Exhale, forward fold, flat back, hinge from your hips. Lift halfway as you breathe in, long spine, slide your shoulders out of your ears. Nice, Helen. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. Back to standing, arms sweep up, overhead. Big inhale takes you there. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. We'll move like that two more times. Half sun salute A. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, engage your core. Feel free to go slower if you like. Lift halfway, breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. Back to standing arms, sweep high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. One more, maybe eyes close, a smile on your lips. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold over your legs. 
Lift halfway, breathe in. Even more space between your vertebrae. Exhale, fold, relax it all down. Rise up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Cactus your arms, little back bend, bend your elbows, lift your heart, slide your shoulders down away from your ears. Beautiful, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Lift halfway as you breathe in. Exhale to high plank, upper push up. You can always drop your knees for a tabletop. Take a moment to hold, find some heat and strength. We'll focus a lot on our chest area, opening up through your heart space and building strength through your shoulders to create that feeling of uplifts, build confidence and strength. As you next inhale, a little shift forward. As you exhale, take it all the way to your belly, slowly to the ground. Fantastic. Three baby cobras, lift your heart, breathe in, hug your shoulder blades down your back, elbows together and away from your ears. Yep. Exhale, lower. Twice more. Inhale, peel yourself off the ground. Lovely, Megan. Exhale, release it down. Maybe this last one, you hover your hands. Big breath in, lift. And exhale, lower. Child's pose, hips to heels. You can always stay in a tabletop if that feels better for you. Allow some breath to move into your upper back, your shoulders. And just notice what you're feeling. Come to a hands and knees tabletop position. We'll find cow and cat as you inhale, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, send your heart forward, look slightly up. Exhale, press the ground away, scoop your tailbone under, really round through your spine. Breathe like that, move like that with your breath, back and forth. Nice, Leona. Any extra movement, a hip sway, a head roll, please feel free to add it. Let this be or yours and take what you need to make you feel happy or at least content with this practice. Awesome, Annie. Two more rounds of breath. Find your neutral tabletop. You're going to set your hips back toward your heels. Bring your right hand to the ground, kind of off to the side, slightly behind you. You're going to choose how far you go. Kind of a little mini camel. It doesn't have to be big. Lift your hips. Reach your left arm to the sky. For me, I barely come up. Yep. Exhale, lower. And then other side. Left hand down. Right arm up. Lift. And then release it down. One more time in each direction with your breath. Right hand down. Left arm up. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Really nice, Sarah. Left side, left hand down, right arm up, breathe in. And exhale, release, downward facing dog, hands forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips. And feel free to find movement here, pedal out or sway side to side. If you want to open your mouth, stick out your tongue or flutter your lips, an open mouth breath is nice to release heat, to release some tension through your face and your jaw. Yeah, Jen. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step, hop, float, find your way to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Rise up, reach up, hands overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale to chair pose, sit low into your hips, hands to the sky, and then peek down, make sure you can see all 10 toes, engage your low belly, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Hands behind your back, interlace your fingers behind you, reach back, open your chest, big inhale. You're welcome to stay here or drop your belly to your thighs as you exhale, start to fold it forward. And if you're folding and you wanna bend one knee a lot, lift the other shoulder, move a little side to side or spread your feet wider, please feel free to explore those shapes. Beautiful, Cameron. Gently release your hands to the ground without slingshotting. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold, right foot steps back. Rise to a high crescent lunge. So your left foot is forward, left knee bent, arms overhead. Take a moment here to even out your hips, right forward, engage your glutes, relax your shoulders. Big inhale. 
Exhale, open arm twist, left, left hand back, right arm forward. We're gonna move like that two times. Inhale, back to center, same direction. Exhale, take that twist, left hand back, right arm forward. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Hold here, option to stay, reach through your fingers or exalt, left hand to your back leg, right arm to the sky. Kind of a little twisted reverse warrior, breathe. Full inhale. Exhale, right hands to the ground, left arm to the sky for another version of a twist. You can stay or drop your back knee. There's something else you prefer here, some movement in your top arm. Feel free to find that, yeah, cat. Really try to slide your shoulders away from your ears. Feel that openness through your chest. Big breath in. Your version of side plank, either right knee down, right forearm down, or you can stay on the outer, outer edge of your right foot. Stack your left hip and shoulder. Really press into your fingertips. Feel that lightness, that lift, add a smile. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, release, find your way to downward facing dog. You can move through chaturanga to your belly for cobra, halfway for up dog. You can skip it, beautiful Emily. You can always take a child's pose. You can always take a rest to reset. And really notice your thoughts, where your awareness is. And see if you can turn them into a little bit more joy, a little bit more lightness. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale, find your way to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Rise up, hands overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Same thing, other side. Inhale to your chair pose. Take a moment to find the shape. Make any adjustments. Next, exhale, hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Maybe the awkward thumb on top. Lift your chest. Open it up. Stay or belly to thighs to fold forward. A few rounds of breath. If movement is calling your name, find it. If stillness feels better, stay there. Awesome, Kelly. Slowly let your hands release down to the ground. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back. High crescent lunge. Press through your feet, feel a sense of rootedness, groundedness, and then a sense of lightness. Really open through your chest like you could smile through your collarbones. Big inhale here. Open arm twist right, right hand back, left arm forward, exhale. Twice more, same direction, inhale to center, high, hands high. Exhale, find the twist. Last one, breath sounds amazing. Hold your twist, you can stay or exalt, right hand to your back leg, left arm to the sky. Keep breathing into your left hip flexors, keep drawing that left hip a little bit more forward. One more inhale. Exhale, low twist, left hand to the ground, right arm to the sky. Back knee down if that feels more grounded. Movement in your top arm if that feels more open. Feel a long line of energy from your back heel all the way through the crown of your head. Full inhale. Use your exhale to transition to side plank Vashistasana. You choose how and you choose what it looks like. And you choose to make it fun, to make it joyful, to maybe not take yourself so seriously. Another inhale, exhale, release, find your way to down dog. Any transition is fantastic. Awesome, shorten your down dog just a bit. Hands a little closer to feet or feet a little closer to hands, you got it. Bend your knees a lot, like you could take your belly to your thighs. Look to your hands, we'll play with some little handstand hops. It's okay if you get nowhere close to a handstand or barely off the ground. But the idea is as, as you exhale, think of a little squat in the air. Allow yourself to be like a little kid playing in the grass. Not worried about falling, not worried about what you're looking like, just finding that joyful, fun little hop. If you want to get silly, you can rib it like a frog, <laughs> add some sound effects, at least laugh. Yeah, one or two more and find your way to the top of your mat. So good, halfway lift when you arrive, take your time. 
Exhale, fold. Stand tall, reach overhead, full inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale to your chair pose. Find that depth again in your legs. Turn on your glutes, your core. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in here. Drinking bird as you exhale, hand sweep back, lift your heels. And maybe you can sit a little lower in your legs, but keep your heart open, shoulders moving down your back. Really use your back muscles. Breathe. Find the shakes, one more inhale. Exhale, forward fold, relax it down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. High crescent lunge, breathe in to reach up. Right away, exhale, open arm twist left. Left hand back, right arm forward. One more time, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, take your twist. Same option to stay or inhale, exalt. Right arm up, back hands to your back leg. Full breath in. Warrior two, this time as you exhale, open it to the side. And then find some time to adjust. So peek down at your feet, front heel in line with back heel or arch. Make sure you can still see your left big toe. Find depth in your legs. Find a sense of ease or lightness through your shoulders, upper back. Reach long through your fingertips. Beautiful, Claire. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Reach wide, take up some space. Exhale, goddess squat. Bend your knees, bend your elbows. Keep your chest open. Hold to your inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs, hands to your hips. Turn your toes to the long edge of your mats. Take a breath in, lengthen. Prasarita Padatanasana, fold forward of your legs, wide-legged forward fold, hands down, head and neck down. And then you've got a few breaths to play, so feel free to explore movement, stretches, stillness. This can be a good place to take crow pose or a headstand if you want to go there. A nice place to take a twist, one arm up. Yeah, Emily, or one knee bent, a little side lunge. You're the only person that's knowing what's going on in your head, in your body. So please acknowledge and honor that. And maybe add a little smile, a little bit more joy. Two more rounds of breath. Turn back toward your left leg. We're going to take that low lunge again. Bend your left knee. Toes point to the top of your mat. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. Stay in the twist or horizon lunge. Toes turn left. Come to the outer edges of your feet. Drop your hip. Left arm reaches back. Breathe here. Two more rounds. You got it. Inhale back to center. Frame your front foot. Take a breath in. Look forward. Standing splits. Exhale right leg to the sky. And you can stay. You can work balance. Hands to your ankle, your calf. You can play with some handstand hops, plant your palms, reach your right leg up, let your left leg follow. I like the inversions, it changes your perspective literally. It also forces you to get a little bit out of your head and maybe you can find a little bit more joy there. Yeah, Helen, that's it, Jen. One more big breath in. Forward fold, feet together, let it go. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Rise up, reach up, breathe in. Palms together in front of your hearts, breathe it out. Beautiful breath. Inhale to chair pose, sit deep. Exhale, drinking bird, hands back, lift your heels. Keep that openness through your chest, look a little bit more forward, maybe sink your hips a little further back, breathe. Inhale here. Forward fold, exhale, relax it all down. Lift halfway, breathe in. Hands down, left foot steps back. High crescent lunge, rise up, inhale. Right away to your twist, right hand back, left arm forward, exhale. One more time, same direction, breathe in, hands high. Exhale, twist. Stay or exalt, left arm to the sky if you're exalting. We'll hang out for our exhale and one more big breath in. Warrior two, back heel pivots flats. Take the time here to adjust. Try to relax your shoulders, add a smile, breathe. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out, reach wide. 
Exhale, got to squat. Whatever you want to do with your arms is great. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Try to open up your chest. Hands to your hips, straighten your legs, breathe in. And this time, exhale, heel toe your feet in a little closer together. I'm going to try and face you guys. So we're going to take a little breath of joy. It's a three-part breath, so a three-part inhale, a big exhale. It's going to look like inhale up, keep inhaling up, inhale all the way up, exhale through your mouth, let it go. And we'll do three times. So inhale, 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 big exhale. We'll start with a big breath in through your nose, open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, hands to shoulder height up. Inhale, hands shoulder height side. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Two more, inhale, 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 exhale. One more, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, let it go. Rise to standing, arms overhead, palms together in front of your hearts. Take your feet out wide. Back to your forward folds, and then whatever movement you like from here. Side to side, your inversion, your crow. Notice if you feel a difference in your energy after that breath. Our inhales, especially big inhales or partitioned inhales like that, help to activate our sympathetic nervous system. They kind of get stuff done. We sometimes think of that as negative, as fight or flight, but it gives you a little burst of energy when it's needed. Two more rounds of breath. Turn back toward your right foot, low lunge toward the top of your mats. Find your twist, left hand down, right arm to the sky, breathe in. Stay or, or horizon lunge, turn to the outer edges of your feet, toes to the right. Breathe in as you are. Exhale, come back to center. Take an inhale, look forward. Standing splits, exhale, left leg to the sky. Option to stay, option to work balance or handstand or something else here. We'll always meet in a forward fold. So when you're ready to go there, know that you can at any time. If you're handstanding, try to visualize it in your mind. Stack your hips over your shoulders, your shoulders over your wrists, yeah. That's it, breathe in, forward folds, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, folds. Heel toe your feet out wide for a squat, malasana, heels in, toes out, sit low. Hands to your hearts, open up your chest. Imagine the crown of your head reaching more up to the sky, the ceiling, the your tailbone reaching down to the earth. And see if you can open your chest even a little bit more. Option to stay, option to play with crow pose or crow pose to headstand. If you're taking crow, hands down, knees climb high into your triceps like you're making a shelf. Look a little bit forward, press into your fingers to float one and maybe both feet off the ground. Yeah, if you're playing with crow, you might play with hopping back, land chaturanga, elbows bent. That's it, Helen, look even more forward, more toward me. And then we'll meet in a child's pose when you're ready for it. You got it, Sarah, nice. You find your way there, your transition of choice. Notice how you're feeling physically, mentally, energetically. And see if you can turn to that feeling of lightness, happiness, joy. And it doesn't mean you don't acknowledge all the other stuff going on. Super important to feel what you need to feel, to express it. And also giving yourself permission to choose joy in this moment. Tabletop hands and knees. Take a breath in from here. Puppy pose as you exhale, walk your hands forward, drop your forehead, your chin, or your chest. It's like an extended child's pose. Working a little further into your heart space between your shoulder blades, sides of your body. And when you're ready,
ready, you choose how and when you return to down dog. You might want a tabletop, a cow and cat. You might want a child's pose or come onto your belly. Big inhale. Exhale it out. Awesome, one more, breathe in. Let something go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to your hands. Lift halfway, lengthen. Forward fold, release it all down. Rise to standing, arms sweep high. Palms together in front of your heart. A moment here to adjust however you need, your clothing, your breath, your stance. Hands can be by your sides. And then as you feel ready, we'll work into a tree pose. Wait onto your left foot to start. Right foot comes up, ankle, calf, or thigh. You can keep your hands at your heart a little bit more traditional. If you want a little reverse prayer, you can take hands behind you, hold opposite elbows, or palms together, fingertips work between your shoulder blades, elbows wide. A little bit more chest opening, depending on your shoulders, may be accessible or feel good or not. You can lift your gaze, sometimes looking up, opening your chest a little bit more gives you that feeling of upliftedness. If your hands are somewhere else, bring them in front of your chest to your heart. Draw your right knee forward, take a big breath in like you're taking a step. Exhale, big step to the back of your mat. Find your high crescent lunge, arms overhead. Breathe in here. Exhale, open arm, twist left. Left hand back, right arm forward. Stay or inhale, exalt, right arm to the sky, left hand to your back leg. Big breath in. We're gonna take a revolved half moon as you exhale, right fingertips to the ground, your water bottle, a block if you got it, right leg back, left arm to the sky. You can stay just like that. Uh huh. Imagine drawing your left shoulder a little bit more open. Or if you'd like a little bit more play, reach your left hand to your right foot, so the foot that's lifted behind you, and try to work into revolve dancer's pose. Press into your left foot. Right arm reaches forward as you kick back to stand. One more breath in wherever you are. I like to raise both hands out down to transition. You're going to step your right foot to the back of your mats. And we're going to set up for warrior one. So feel free to take your feet out wider to the edges of your mats. Back heel is flat, both arms to the sky. And ideally in warrior one, both hips turn toward forward. So try to draw your right hip forward. If that means feet closer together lengthwise, wider apart widthwise, or something else, please adjust. Fantastic. Hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Take a deep breath in, open up your chest. Exhale, humble word, begin to dive forward over your leg. Try to keep right hip moving forward, left hip moving back. Maybe crown of your head reaches toward the ground. Maybe it's nowhere near and that's totally great. Awesome, Liana. Two more breaths. Slowly release your hands down to the ground. You can stay low. You can always rise back to warrior one. We're going to take this to pyramid pose. So step your right foot up about halfway. Start to straighten out your left leg, your front leg, and really draw your left hip back. And there can always be a bend in your left knee. You can always place your hands higher on your leg for more um, support or more space. Lengthen your spine. Breathe in. Maybe fold a little deeper as you breathe out. Option is to stay. Option is to take this to revolved triangle. For revolved triangle, right hand stays down. Left arm starts to reach up. And if you're taking that, it may be helpful to take your left hand to your hip crease, drop back or low back. Yeah, fantastic, guys. Nice, Annie. Notice where you feel this. Try to send some positive, light, bright energy in that direction. Beautiful, Megan. Two more breaths. Good. 
Release your hand if it's lifted. Take it to lizard pose. Right foot can step to the back of your mat again. Shimmy your left foot out to the side. Hands inside, either palms flat, forearms down. If you want your back knee down, you can drop it. If you want left hand for your back foot, a little bit more quad stretch, you can take that. This can be more passive, this can be more active. Really give you the choice to feel what is right for you right now. Full deep breaths. Even as we slow things down, can you stay in that flow, that space of positive, light, happy energy? One more round of breath. Okay, come on to your hands if you're on your forearms. If your back knee is lowered, lift it. Plant your right palm. We're just going to play. This may or may not happen for you, and that's totally cool. Left two, first two fingers, grab your left big toe. Come to the outer edge of your right foot, and this may be plenty. Next step is to start to lift your foot to the side. That may be plenty. You can always drop it down. Next step is to start to lift your foot to the sky. Find a side plank with a big toe hold. Nice cat, yeah. Wherever you are is perfect. Allow yourself to feel contentment, to feel joy in this moment, what your body is capable of, all it does for you. One more inhale. Exhale, release your vinyasa or straight to downward facing dog. Our paths are all so different. Our experiences are all so different. It's super easy to compare, but try to stay on your mat, in your body, in your breath, and find joy in your own journey. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step, hop, floats to your hands, exhale. Halfway lift, lengthen. Forward fold, release. Come to standing, hands to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And then again, give yourself some time to adjust. For me, it's always my clothing, my stance, my breath a little bit, something else for you. And when you're ready, tree pose on the other side, weight into your right foot, left foot comes up, hands can be in front. If you take that little reverse grab or bind, you can play with that. You could also challenge your balance by looking up, back bending, side bending, twisting. It's less about the shape and how it looks, more about how you're feeling. So add your smile, even if it's a little fake. <laughs> Breathe. So, so good. Hands to your heart, draw your left knee forward, take a breath in. Exhale, step back. High crescent lunge, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, open arm twist, right, right hand back, left arm forward. As always, you can stay or exalt. Right hand to your back leg, left arm to the sky, breathe in. Revolved half moon as you exhale, left fingertips to the ground, your water bottle, a block. Left leg extends behind you, right arm reaches high. So it feels a little funky and twisted and that's sort of the point. We're seeing if we can breathe through the weirdness. You can stay. If you play with Revolve Dancers on the other side, your right hand reaches for your back foot. For me, I really bend my standing leg, press down, and then slowly reach forward to kick back and stand. Fall out of it. It's totally good. Yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot to the back of your mat, and then find your way to warrior one. So feel free to adjust your feet wider, especially if you know your hips are tight. Closer together if that feels better. And then some time here to draw left hip even more forward. Relax your shoulders. Hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, big breath in, open up your chest. Find that lift from your heart space. Humble warrior, exhale, dive it forward. Doesn't matter how low you go. Feel that sense of connection to the earth, this wonderful, humbling bow.
Yeah, Liana. One more round of breath. Let your hands release to the ground. You can adjust your feet however. You're going to step your left foot up about halfway for pyramid. Start to straighten out your right leg. Try to even out your hips once more. Gently draw your left hip forward, your right hip back. Stay, find length. Fold over your leg if you like it, or if you took the twist or want to play on this side, left hand stays down. Traditionally, it comes on top or outside. I like it just inside my right foot, right arm to the sky. And it might help to take your right hand to your hip crease or low back, kind of feel a sense of groundedness, a gentle manual adjustment. That's it, Claire. Deep, full breaths wherever you are. You're doing it right if you're breathing and moving with intention. If your hand is lifted, release. Find your way to lizard pose. Left foot steps toward the back of your mats. Shimmy your right foot out a little bit more to the side. Options to stay more upright, to drop your back knee, to add a twist, right hand for your back foot, to come to your forearms if that's accessible. And again, try to visualize breath energy flowing where your body needs space, where it needs healing. And let that energy be light and positive. Whatever color that comes to your mind or that feels happy, white, yellow, blue. Couple more rounds of breath. Stay with it, stay in it. You can always stay longer. If you're on your forearms, come onto your palms. If your back knee is lowered, lift it. Right hand finds your big toe with your first two fingers. We'll just play, maybe you stay like this. Maybe you come to the outer edge of your back foot and can start to turn your toes or barely lift your foot. Or maybe you can start to reach your foot to the sky. It's cool if you fall out. I clearly do a lot. <laughs> Breathe, yeah. Explore the edge. Know when it's too much. Laugh about it, smile about it. So good, Emily. And then find your way back to a down dog, a child's pose, or a dolphin on your forearms. That was great, Megan. Tabletop, hands and knees. We'll take it to a full camel. So start by standing on your knees. I personally like my toes tucked under. That feels supportive. You're welcome to be on the tops of your feet. You like your knees about hip distance, so a little peek down. Make sure they're not totally close together or too wide apart. And then hands to back pockets or fingertips up your back, whatever feels best. Hug your elbows in. Really lift your heart. This may be plenty you're already in the shape. If you'd like a little bit more, try to keep your hips pressing gently forward. Maybe you take one hand to your heel, one arm to the sky. Maybe both hands to your heels, keep pressing your hips, keep lifting your heart. Maybe eventually your head falls back. If you're taking with one arm, you can try to switch it up, do both. And when you feel like you've had enough, you can come to a seat or to a child's pose. If you think you want more than one, just come to a seat for a little moment to reset and then go into the second. Otherwise, a child's pose is a nice release. So there have been scientific studies that have shown that if we improve people's posture, specifically remove shoulders from reaching forward and kind of pull them back, open the chest, that we can improve depression outcomes, feelings of happiness. So yoga is fantastic for all those good posture, chest openers. Nice cat. If you're still playing, take your time. If you're done, maybe a child's pose, maybe a seat is a nice place to stay. Tabletop, hands and knees to a forearm, forearms down. Let me not get ahead of myself. 
And I like forearms parallel to each other, elbows no wider than shoulders. You can do a little check by holding opposite elbows. You can also bring your hands together or interlace if you prefer that. And then we'll start in dolphin. So just like a down dog, but on your forearms, you can let your head relax. You might feel your calves, your hamstrings, feet can always go wider, knees can always bend. If you like a little bit more, feet a little closer. Option one is to take this to a forearm stand. Your head is lifted. For that one leg to the sky, you look to your thumbs, take a little lean forward, see if you can take a gentle lift, maybe find some balance. Option two is to take a headstand. You really want to support your neck here, so keep a neutral neck. Head down, hands come around the back of your head. And I like to crawl into a little ball for that one first, find balance, and then lift my legs to the sky. And if both of those sound crazy, don't feel like you have to do them. Allow yourself that joy, that contentment where you are with what feels good for you. Knowing that that's where you should be. That's it, Annie. That's it, Cameron. You can take a child's pose when you're ready for a rest. You can always keep playing, keep exploring. A nice counter stretch for that is thread the needle either from a child's pose or a tabletop. Right arm to the sky, roll your wrist in both directions and then thread to your left. Let your shoulder come all the way down, the side of your head down. Left hand can stay, reach in front of you, wrap behind you. If you want this a little bit more active and you're from that tabletop position, you can play with extending your left leg behind you as if you're stamping it into the back wall. A little extra balance challenge. Breathe through your upper back, your shoulders. You can hold a lot of stuff there, carry the weight of the world on our traps. Between your shoulder blades, rhomboids. Give it permission to release as you exhale. Slowly unwind, left hand by your face, unthread right arm out and up, big breath in, counter stretch. Exhale, release it down, switch sides. Left arm to the sky, roll your wrist a couple times. Thread to your right, drop your shoulder, your head. Right hand wherever it feels good and supportive, where it is, forward, around your back. If you play it on the other side, you can extend your right leg long behind you, find that balance. And as we slow things down, we have less distractions from the flow, from trying to keep up. It's super easy and totally normal for your mind to wander. And if you find it's going places that maybe don't feel as fun, as joyful, as happy, please acknowledge that. Allow yourself to experience that. And then maybe you find something that is a little bit lighter, something you're grateful for, something that makes you laugh. When your sides feel even, right hand by your face, unthread left arm out and up, big breath in, counter stretch. Exhale, release. Downward facing dog. That's good, let it out. That means there's something that needs to be released. We're gonna take pigeon. If you know you've got knee stuff or would rather be on your back for figure four, feel free to go there. Otherwise, right leg high, breathe in. Draw your shin forward. Extend your left leg and gently sink into your hips. So we're less concerned with the angle of your front leg. All of our anatomies are very different. Try if you can to even out your hips, left a little bit more forward, right a little bit back. And then either stay upright or come down. I like for this to be a very passive shape. If you want more back bending, you're welcome to stay more up or reach back for your foot. Notice the length of your breath. 
If you'd like to stay in this more upbeat, energized state, you can do a longer inhale. If you'd like to start to calm down before our Shavasana, you can do a longer exhale. Three more rounds of breath. Please stay if you'd like more. Otherwise, begin to walk your hands back in, lift your chest. If you're on your back, come to a seat. We're going to meet you there. Front pigeon, you're going to take your right hand to the side, lean onto your right hip, and swing your left leg around. Left knee comes up outside your right thigh with your foot. I like my right leg extended so I can root down through my sit bones. You're totally welcome to have both knees bent. Left hand behind you. Right arm wraps around your leg or elbow hooks outside your knee. Sit up taller with each breath in and then gently twist deeper with each breath out. Imagine you could squeeze your shoulder blades together and down your back like you're holding a pencil between them. And slowly unwind, counter twist to the other side. That can be an upright, gentle twist. That can be a little dip forward with your head. We'll take this to boat pose. Uncross your legs, hover your shins, hands behind your legs, knees bent. If you want more, arms wide. If you want a lot more legs straight, arms to the sky. Try to suck your belly button up and underneath your ribs and lift from your heart like a string is pulling you to the ceiling. Add a smile. I'm doing it too. Breathe. That helps. Feel the strength of your body. Shaking means it's working. Two more here. One more big inhale. Exhale your way to down dog. If you like, cross your ankles, plant your palms, hop it back. And then pigeon on your other side, left leg high, shin forward, or your figure four, come onto your back. Take some time to set up. Find where you want to be, more upright, more, re more relaxed. And then breathe. Notice again where and what you're feeling without judging or labeling. That simple awareness allows us to feel a little bit more contentment. It just is what it is. Three more rounds of breath. If you'd like to stay, you can. Otherwise, begin to walk your hands in. Those of you on your back, come up to a seat. Front pigeon, weight into your left hand, left hip, lean to the side, swing your right leg around. Set up your twist on the other side, maybe your left leg, bottom leg straight. Right hand comes behind you this time, left arm hugs your knee or hooks outside. Try to get even taller through your spine, even lighter on your back fingertips. And then gently ring yourself out. Breathe. Slowly unwind, counter twist to your left, either upright or that little dip forward.
bring yourself back up one last boat pose. If you want to get wild, you can hold on to your big toes and play with extending in front of you straight or wide. Whatever you choose, try to relax your shoulders, lift from your heart space. If you've got your big toes, let go. See if you can hover. We'll breathe. Full deep breaths, big smiles. Inhale. Exhale, release your feet down. Reverse table or reverse plank. For reverse plank, legs straight. For reverse table, knees bent. Hands come behind you. Press through your hands and your feet to lift your hips. Maybe gently allow your head to fall back if that's okay on your neck. And slowly lower down. Come onto your back. You can reach your arms forward, roll, or you can simply fall, plop it back. We'll take two back bends. You can take bridge, bridge, bridge wheel, none, two wheels, something else entirely. I'll walk you through bridge wheel, but please do what feels good for you. So feet bent, knees bent, feet on the ground, knees point up to the sky, hands by your sides. Some of us can touch our heels with our fingertips depending on the length of your legs and arms. That's true for you, that's a nice marker. Press through your feet, turn on the back of your legs, glutes and hamstrings, lift your hips. Now you don't have to be so far up that your shoulders come off the ground and you're on your neck. You're just thinking of a nice long line of energy, gently pressing your knees forward, breathe into your low belly. Maybe hands interlace underneath you, shimmy your shoulders a little closer together, open through your chest even more. Try to really fill the front side of your body from your low belly all the way up to your heart. When you've had enough, if, you hand, if your hands are connected, release them, roll yourself down. You can windshield wiper your knees side to side. You can take your feet wide, knees together, knock kneed, feet together, knees wide, reverse butterfly. Or butterfly, I should say. <laughs> and then if that was enough, stay wherever you are. If you'd like one more, you can set up again. Same setup for bridge. For wheel, feet are the same. Hands come by your ears, fingers point to your shoulders. Try if you're taking that full wheel, full back bend to press all the way up. Really hug your elbows in. Use the strength of your legs and your arms at the same time. Beautiful. Imagine you could send your chest in the direction you're looking. And when you've had enough, chin to chest, lower down. You can hug your knees in after this second one. Give your low back a little release. And rock side to side, a little massage. However you'd like to finish out your practice, you've got a few minutes before Shavasana. It might be a happy baby. It might be another twist. It might be an inversion of some kind. doing something that's one-sided. Do both. Please take your time. There's no rush. And eventually find a comfortable shape for a final rest. That could be on your belly. That could be on your back, on your side. See if you can lift your heart and snuggle your shoulders down your back a little bit more, especially if you're lying on your back. Palms out, take up some space, or palms up to receive energy, or if you like, hands to your body for a little bit more grounding sensation.
a slight smile on your lips. They've actually shown that eye contact and a smile can activate nerves in your face that link to your vagus nerve. And it helps turn on a sense of contentment, a sense of peace, that more rest, digest, parasympathetic mode. Bring your awareness back to the sound and feeling of your breath. Add little movements, wiggle your fingers or rock your head a little side to side. Maybe extend your arms above you, full body stretch. And with your eyes closed, turn to one side. Find a fetal position, a chance to start fresh, a pose of rebirth. And then press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Take a moment here to scan your physical body Notice what's going on, how it feels. Check in with your thoughts and emotions. And place your palms together in front of your heart. Give yourself thanks for taking the time to be present, to move, to breathe, to be in a little bit more joyful space, even if it was just for this hour. I thank you all for sharing your energy, your practice with me and with all of us. We'll bow our heads together. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Take your time getting up, and I will see you soon.